Hey everyone, in this video today what we're going to do is we're going to solve the following ordinary differential equation. Now we're going to begin by rewriting it as df divided by dx and we're going to rewrite f of x is f. Now we can also factor a 5 out of the right hand side. Doing so we get 5 multiplied by 2f minus 1. Now what we want to do is multiply both sides by dx divided by 2f minus 1. The reason for this is that on one side we're just going to have f's and on one side we're just going to have x's and that will enable us to apply the separation of variables technique which we're going to use to solve this problem. So upon doing that we get df divided by 2f minus 1 is equal to 5 dx. Now notice we have f's on the left hand side and x's on the right hand side so what we can do is integrate both sides of our equation. Now you might be a little bit unsure how to integrate the left hand side, so what we're going to do is we're going to solve it using u substitution and we'll get it into a more familiar format. We're going to begin by setting u to be equal to 2f minus 1, differentiating both sides we get du is equal to 2df. Now dividing both sides by 2 we get du divided by 2 is equal to df. And we can just substitute this into the integral on the left hand side, so we have the integral of 1 over u du divided by 2 is equal to the integral of 5 dx which is really easy to integrate, right? So upon doing that, and then multiplying both sides by 2, we get the natural logarithm of 2f minus 1 is equal to 10x plus 2c1, where c1 is just a constant of integration. Now, the ultimate goal of this problem is to solve for f, right? We want to find f that satisfies the ordinary differential equation in the left-hand corner of the screen. So we need to get rid of the natural logarithm first, which we can do using the following identity. We have e raised to the natural logarithm of x is equal to x. So upon raising everything to the exponential function, we get 2f minus 1 is equal to e raised to 10x plus 2c, which is equal to e raised to 5x. The 5x should be 10x multiplied by e raised to 2c1. Now what we want to do is rewrite e raised to 2c1 as c2. It's just a little bit neater to do so. So if we do that, and we add 1 to both sides of our equation and divide by 2, we get the following final answer for f. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this content useful. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. I hope you have a great day.